Hey, Donnie Smith here, and we're back on the jet boat project. Just getting started on as a fact. Uh, first thing we decide to do is get these seats out. You know, these, the interior, the carpet, and all that. Front seats, very simple. Well, you know, we couldn't really use an air ratchet on some of this because it couldn't get in there well. Uh, we had to use a wrench. I think they're 9 16 but we just took these bolts out, and uh, you can see that that's pretty rusted. You know, they're pretty old. But once you get all those out, the seat comes out. Now, the front, easy enough. You know, not that's very simple. Now, as you know, with any old project, you know, you're always going to run into things that, you know, that come up, which, which we do with this rear seat, and we'll talk about it in a minute. But uh, we got those front seats out, and here I'm just showing you the bolt holes, you know, that the, the seat's bolted to. Uh, pretty simple. Pretty simple process. And the bottom seat, you know, it just lifts up out of there. But we get to the, the back seat, the rest part, backrest, uh, it's a little more difficult. Uh, you know, like I said, it's an old bolt. It's been worked on before. So, you know, sometimes it's not put together the way it should have been. There were supposed to be some bolts right here. I found the holes where they should be bolted to the seat, but they wasn't there. They're just holes. So couldn't figure out, and the seat was stuck. I mean, it was in there some way. It was being held, and I looked all around the edges. Could not figure it out how how they put this in there because you know they didn't use the, the the original design. So I was trying to figure out what did they do. So this is where they should be bolted on, and I pushed and tried to figure this out. Uh, could not figure it out. So the last thing I could think of to do, you know, after looking, I spent a lot of time edited most edited most of that out. And, uh, I, you know, I cut the seat, you know, to find out how it was on there. So the side pads there, you know, that interior piece right there, it, it was bolted on the back like it should be. Very simple, unbolted it, took it off. So, so after looking at it, you know, spending a lot of time, uh, might not have been the, the best thing to do at first choice, but I knew I was going to end up redoing this poster anyway. Uh, I guess I'll be doing it, you know, pretty soon now because I did cut that one end up. But I'll show you how that seat was put in there. And I think there can be a better way of doing that than, than what they did this last time. But right or wrong, this is what I did. I got a razor knife and cut the seat. And I was going to try to just put a slit in it and I couldn't find nothing. You know, it had that one hole there, but I thought there must be something else holding it in because, you know, I couldn't figure it out. So I cut it up pretty bad on that side just to try to figure it out. And this is what I ended up finding. They had some sheet metal wood type screws just screwed in the end there in, into the side of the boat there. Uh, just like this one's still sticking out, you know, that one's still in there. And man, that, I mean, it seemed like the seat was pretty solid, but that sure is not much to hold the, the seat on. I'm going to have to think of something a lot better than that when I go to put it back on. But anyway, I just need to get this cleaned up, and then I can start pulling the motor. Uh, go ahead and take the carpet out and get the motor out, so, and then tear it apart and see what's wrong with that. But I decided to just do a little bit of sanding. Uh, had that big scratch there. I don't know if you remember that. And I thought, and this is another one of the things I was talking about, some of these projects, you know, you just uh, run into things that you're maybe not familiar with. And I've worked with gel coat, like on jet boats and things like that. But man, the gel coat on this thing is thick. And I had to get down past that gel coat just on the top surfaces where the sun hits it all the time. You know, it had like a crow's feet, like tiny cracks in it that went all the way through the gel coat. So I got some 180 thinking that that would knock it down pretty fast and I went over it for a while and here on video it looks like it's sanding pretty fast but man that stuff is so thick a lot more than I ex expected so I took that off and put some 80 on and you know I've edited some of the sanding out so you know just watch me sand forever but that uh, little spot there actually took me quite some time with 180 so so I got some 80 after it and I sanded on it a while with the 80 grit and this is on an 8 inch sander. Uh, use that like for body filler and things like that. Sands pretty fast. So I sanded for a while. And uh, of course I did take some of that out. and decided to vacuum that off there so I could see what was going on. And see if I was getting down past that cracking. But you can see right there. If you look close. I mean that cracking goes down past all that. And that's after sanding quite a bit. And just the top surfaces has a lot of it. So I'm going to have to get down past that. So probably going to jump to some 36 or something, you know, to, to get it down. And then cut back to 80, 180, and so forth. And then this top surface I'll have to prime and block out. So I need to get the carpet pulled, the engine pulled. And then we're going to start some fiberglass work. So be sure and check back, uh, check on this progress to see how it's going. Thanks for watching these videos. If you like it, be sure and give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video.